From uncomfortable chats with rappers to passing out booze to a star attempting sobriety, E! News host Juliana Rancic has provided a masterclass in awkward red carpet interviews. Let's take a look back at some of her most cringeworthy moments. All eyes were on Bradley Cooper at the 2019 Academy Awards. Not only was his performance of Shallow with Lady Gaga absolutely sizzling, the song ended up winning an Oscar for Best Original Song. Still, even as one of the biggest stars of the night, Cooper couldn't escape an awkward run-in with Rancic, who managed to somehow talk about her relationship more than the fact that Cooper directed, co-wrote, and starred in one of the biggest movies of the year. Rancic dove right in and told Cooper that A Star Is Born made her fall more in love with her husband. Then she asked Cooper how that felt. His response? We all just tried to work so hard, and we never gave up. And that, that's, the, that's all I can do. Yeah. Other than that, I don't know. His eyes, which look like he's desperately trying to escape the conversation, say it all. Ooh, that's a deep question. <laughs> um, I ask those questions, Bradley. Um, According to Cosmopolitan, the E! host was roasted online following the awkward interview. Some Twitter users cringed and called it brutal, while another wrote, Rancic pouring her emotions out to Bradley Cooper and him not giving a sh was one of the best things from Oscar night. It's hard to put fault behind the awkward fest that was Deborah Messing's 2019 Golden Globes interview. It was notably chaotic as Rancic appeared to struggle keeping track of what was actually going on. At first glance, it seemed to go off without a hitch, with Rancic talking about Messing's various nominations. This was the seventh time the star was nominated for Will & Grace. Then it started to go completely off the rails. Messing seemed less than pleased that her castmates never took home the big prize. Instead, she revealed that they drank during the ceremony. After that, Rancic mistakenly asked Messing about presenting an award. Award. And you're also presenting this evening, nope. is that? Oh, you're not presenting no, this evening. Oh, good. I get to just you get to relax. Out. Rancic then shifted course to ask about whether or not the Will and Grace star would see her castmates at the ceremony. No one is here. What? The show wasn't nominated. But no, so they're not. I'm, no, I'm the only. I am. I am here representing Will and Grace proudly. As it turns out, Rancic was only slightly confused. According to MSN, Messing's co-star Megan Mullally was actually presenting that night at the awards show. Was the actress throwing some subtle shade at her longtime co-stars, or did she simply have too many non-victory laps with the bottle? Rancic's 2013 interview with Aziz Ansari at the Golden Globes basically foreshadowed her racially insensitive comments about Zendaya's red carpet hairstyle. She's such a tiny frame that this hair to me overwhelms her. Like, I feel like she, she smells like patchouli oil. <laughs> <laughs> or weed. Yeah, maybe weed? Rancic started off innocently enough with Ansari claiming he didn't know who designer Christian Dior was. Uh, Kevin Dior? No, uh, Christian Dior. Christian Dior. It's not Kevin Dior, is it? That's his cousin, That's Kevin. <laughs> That's his cousin Kevin. Yeah. Rancic then almost convinced Ansari to stick his hand in the minicam. After that, the whole thing devolved into a downward spiral of racial stereotyping. Ansari was not pleased when Rancic asked him to teach her some dance moves. I think you can. I think you have good rhythm. I have good rhythm. Yes. Well, ba based on my chocolate skin tone. <laughs> Ansari then told Rancic he knows it's a stereotype that, quote, Indian men know how to dance really well. Rancic laughed but didn't relent and still asked him to bust a move. Okay, what about like, uh, this is a move that's called, what? That's racist. Don't say that again. So you, okay. so you hear the racist thing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Rancic repeated the move but didn't apologize, while viewers at home were likely plagued with second-hand embarrassment. <laughs> what? That's racist. Don't say okay, that so again. What? That's, That's racist. racist. Don't say that again. You're Dude, I knew I could count on you. Mike Posner and Black Bear showed up at the 2017 Grammys looking like the Joker's twin brothers and proceeded to deliver the most purposefully awkward interview imaginable. Rancic, who was a shockingly good sport, did her best to go with the flow. Posner started off the interview by refusing to speak directly to Rancic. Instead, he whispered to Black Bear, who relayed his messages. The weirdest part wasn't the fact that he wouldn't speak, it was the fact that the microphone picked up what he was whispering anyway. Uh, Tell her we're not, we're talking about her. We're talking about we're talking about you right now. I hope it was okay. It wasn't. It was not okay. He then hit on the e host through the bizarre game of telephone. She looks very beautiful. I hope she's not married. He said that you're very beautiful and he wants to marry you. Oh, I love you. Rancic also asked Posner, whose single I Took a Pill in Ibiza was nominated for Song of the Year, if the hit was constantly stuck in his head. I have Song of the Year next year stuck in my head. Song of the Year next year stuck in his head already. Really? What's that one? <laughs> Worse yet, Black Bear kept struggling to hear him, even if the viewers at home could. All we want to know is why. 
since releasing his major label debut, Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World in 2016, Lil Uzi has gotten so used to the spotlight, he's almost completely over it. This was no more apparent than when Rancic interviewed him on the 2018 Grammy Awards red carpet and the SoundCloud rapper barely answered their questions. Rancic tried her best to pull answers out of the rapper, who was nominated for Best New Artist, but to no avail. When she asked him how he was feeling about the awards show, which, by the way, should have been an enormous achievement for him considering he'd never been nominated before, his response was flat and uninterested. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? What are you feeling tonight? Um, uh, feeling normal. Rancic then rephrased the question and asked if he was excited. Um, this is normal. This is my life. So I was like, whatever. He then told her how he would celebrate if he took home an award that night. Uh, if I win, I'ma just think about everything that I'ma buy the next day. And now I like to shop, so shopping. Finally, Rancic rounded out the interview by asking the star what his next steps were, clearly referring to his career. Uh, waking up, eat some Pop-Tarts. Favorite interview of the night. There are some things we just don't say, but sometimes it seems like Rancic has said all of them. And this cringeworthy 2011 SAG Awards interview certainly adds to the list. It all started when Rancic slipped boy band icon Justin Timberlake an airplane-sized bottle of whiskey. Rancic seemed as proud of her whiskey-slipping skills as a teenager on prom night until she interviewed Jeffrey Arendt and Christina Hendricks. The couple revealed that Timberlake had slipped the tiny bottle into Arendt's suit pocket. Wait, Justin just, gave you my whiskey? He just gave me whiskey. Rancic was flabbergasted, and Aaron suggested that Timberlake had a solid reason for doing it. He's trying to cut it out, you know, it's just been like, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> want to drink anymore, especially not the award show. But it was too late. Rancic had already decided it was a good idea to blurt out. I, I cannot know. believe that well, Indian giver! Seriously? Yikes. Not only did she inadvertently discredit Timberlake's alleged efforts at a healthier lifestyle, but she used a tired racial stereotype that Native People's Forum, Native appropriations described as probably not the best term to use to describe a negative act, considering it stereotypes Indians as deceitful and ungenerous. Rancic was left drinking alone during one awkward interview at the 2015 Golden Globes. The TV host was chatting with George and Amal Clooney about George's Casamigos tequila, which is supposedly so smooth that you don't even wince. Rancic was ready to party down on the red carpet, but the newlywed at the time was having none of it. When asked to share a shot with Rancic, George kindly told her that he wouldn't be drinking until later that night. Can we do a celebratory shot of your tequila? Or maybe I can do one because I know you're busy? I have to do I have to speak tonight. She then moved on to a mall, an international human rights lawyer, so poised it's hard to imagine her gulping down frozen margaritas. Rancic asked the Lebanese beauty if she had ever had the tequila. I have tasted it, yes. Okay. Rancic ended up taking the shot like a pro and didn't cringe, but viewers did when she gave Amal a final bit of advice. Amal, you gotta have more of it! <laughs> Cardi B ruled the 2018 Grammy Awards. The rap star was nominated twice for her breakout hit, Bodak Yellow. What better time for her first awkward Juliana Rancic interview than with a run-in at her first Grammy outing? Cardi told Rancic that she was actually nervous for the award ceremony. I feel it all, ooh, butterfly, in my stomach and vagina. Rancic would have probably spit out her drink if she had one. Instead, we got... Okay. Uh... I love you. After that, Rancic tried to ask the rapper about her lyrics in Motorsport, which referenced tabloid rumors, but she struggled to remember them. Instead, the TV host ended up looking like an out-of-touch parent trying to be hip with the kids. And you even say at one point, and you say um, something like, like about the source, like you need to go to the source. Like Cardi didn't seem to sweat it after she actually realized what Rancic was talking about, but it took a couple awkward moments to get there. Rancic almost lived through every A-lister's absolute nightmare in 2018 when she nearly messed up her red carpet gown before the 90th Academy Awards even started. The E! personality was interviewing celeb chef Wolfgang Puck, who had curated the menu for the post-Oscars Governor's Ball for 20 years. During the segment, Puck rattled off his Lux Bites, which included quail eggs, Maine lobster, burgundy black truffles, and ruby chocolate, the latest chocolate trend that wasn't even available in the U.S. at the time. Puck gave Rancic a little taste of his famed gold-dusted chocolate Oscars, but the the TV host had no idea it was stuffed with passion fruit chocolate. 7, Can I have one? Absolutely. We made oh a my god, I did not expect that, Wolfgang! Oh, Apparently, it didn't stain, and Rancic was a good sport.
There are a few things you should never discuss on the red carpet. Recent deaths, intimate relationship details, and underwear. Rancic didn't get the memo and went for it anyway. According to E! News, this led to a very awkward run-in with Modern Family star Sofia Vergara at the 2012 SAG Awards. It's safe to assume the Colombian beauty would rather discuss pretty much anything other than the state of her underwear, like perhaps her work or recent projects. But Rancic couldn't help but pry. The E! host, who was riffing on some pretty panty-related rumors, reportedly asked Vergara to reveal once and for all if she had been wearing underwear at the Golden Globes earlier that month. As E! News reported, the actress responded, I never said I wasn't wearing panties. I always wear panties. They were really tiny, like a G-string thing, that they're almost no panty, but they're a panty. According to ABC News, Vergara reportedly announced that she wasn't wearing any underwear while backstage at the Golden Globes in January 2012, so it's not hard to see how Rancic could be confused, but really, would she have asked George Clooney or Ryan Gosling that same question? Vergara must have eventually gotten fed up with Rancic's fixation on her body, because at the 2017 Emmy's red carpet, she clapped back and reminded Rancic that she doesn't just play the hot girl. You play a spy? Stop. Yeah. The hottest spy ever. I'm, I'm not hot in the movie. You're not hot and in the movie? That's had impossible. To be hot. There's a lot more to this modern family star than her looks. Done. I win. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.